All right, in number one, we've got some information presented in a table about the rate of water flowing into a tank. Uh, excuse me, R is the rate that's flowing out, and W is the rate that's flowing in. Uh, part A, estimate R prime of two. So there is no value of two in the table. So our best estimate here is going to be to estimate R prime of two by an average rate of change between one and three. So that's gonna look like this as a formula and uh, 1190 minus 950 over two ends up being negative 120. Uh, the units here are the rate units, liters per hour, per hour. So R is a rate and a change in that rate would be um, liters per hour per hour. You could also write that as liters per hour squared. All right, part B, um, ask us to do a F left Riemann sum to estimate the total amount of water removed from the tank. So I'm estimating the integral from zero to eight of R of T. Um, if we did a quick little plot of these points, they're basically going down like this from one to th uh, zero to one, one to three, three to six, and six to eight. What's important to notice is that the widths are not uniform, right? So I have to be careful about that. So my first left rectangle has a width of one and a height of 1340. My next one has a width of two and a height of 1190. Uh, my next one has a height of 950 and a width of three. And my last one has a width of two and a height of 740. Uh, using your calculator, putting all this together, you get 8050 as your answer. Um, the second half of this, is that an overestimate or an underestimate? So um, you can see from the data that it's going downward and every left-hand value is gonna be the highest point within the interval. And that's gonna make all of your estimates an overestimate. So the best answer for that is it's an overestimate because R of T is decreasing. Another way to say that would be R prime of T is negative. Okay. All right, letter C said, use the answer from part B to find an estimate for the total amount of water in the tank after eight hours. So our total amount of water after eight hours is gonna be our initial amount plus our integral from zero to eight of the water coming in. So that's gonna be 2000 e to the negative t squared over 20, uh, minus our r of t integral, right? And so that is kind of your setup. Remember in a, kind of a total amount question like this, it's the uh, beginning um, plus the amount that came in minus the amount that came out, okay? Uh, the initial amount was 50,000. My amount coming in requires me to do an integral. I'm gonna do this one on my calculator. I typed the graph in already. Um, if I calculate the integral from zero to eight, um, this is one way of doing this. Remember, you can also do it on your math menu. But this integral should end up being um, about seven, eight, three, six. And then the rate out um, was our answer from B, which was eight, zero, five, zero. Um, I get a final answer of 49,786. All right, our last question is, is there a time at which the rate at which the water is pumped into the tank is the same as the rate at which the water is removed from the tank? So uh, what we really wanna think about here um, is what is the difference 
between w of t and r of t? And is that ever equal to zero at any point? So this is a good time to use the intermediate value theorem because if I can show that there's one place where this is positive and one place then th where this is negative, then that's gonna guarantee that this is equal to zero at least once. So it turns out that at t equals zero, um, w of zero is 20,000, I'm sorry, 2,000, and r of zero from the table is 1340. So clearly w of zero minus r of zero is greater than zero. And at t equals eight, um, r, sorry, w of eight is something I can figure out very quickly on my calculator. So I'm gonna do calc value eight, and I get uh, about 81. And r of eight is 700. And here, if I do the difference between those, um, I get clearly something that's gonna be less than zero. So if you can show that you have one quantity that's positive, one quantity that's negative, then there is a time when the difference between them is zero, and therefore there is a time when w of t equals r of t.